I think I need to go to the bathroom. But it's so cold that I don't want to get out of bed. I'm probably just cold. Shoot! I've been thinking about it so much. So now, I really need to, do need to go. It's so early. I guess I should eat breakfast or something. Hmm? What's this? Someone must have slid this under the door. I have probably found it in a mailbox, mailbox or something. Dr. Yukio Hamasaki. I wonder if she's any good. Maybe I should give her a call tomorrow. What should I do? Today. Did I leave clothes in a washing machine? Gosh, I don't remember. I don't think I did. Yeah, I better go check. I had it when I forgot to put the clothes in the dryer. They always smell like puke when I forgot. Guess I should try calling the psychologist that I saw in the mail yesterday. Thank you for calling the office of Dr. Hamasaki. Hi, I'd like to make an appointment. Okay, what well, day would be that for you? Well, I can take anything. However, I need to request a house call. A house call? So you want the doctor to call you at home? No, a house call means that the doctor actually comes to your house. Ah, oh, I think you've heard of that somewhere before. You actually don't do those things, so you're going to have to come here. That's the problem. I can't actually go there because I have a serious medical condition. I'm sorry, miss, but that really sounds like a personal problem. You're just going to have to find someone to help you come down here. I just forget. That really made me mad. Seriously, is it this difficult to get help around here? I keep forgetting why I always give up. You can't expect anything from anybody. I can't believe how unreadable people are. It's really late. I guess I won't be seeing Kento. Has my life come down, came down to this? Waiting around all day in the boring house. Waiting for some guy to come around. I guess it's not that different from being a housewife. Do all housewives feel like this? Huh? Oh, maybe that's him. I hope that I'm dressed appropriately. Hey you! I thought I'd stop by for some midnight margaritas! That sounds great, but... But can you really drink alcohol when you're on all of that medication? Of course not! Combining alcohol with anti-anxiety medications can slow down your heart and kill you in your sleep. So... These are actually virgin margaritas, but they are still delicious. What kind of margaritas did you make? I call them cherry blossom margaritas, but they are really just made with cherry syrup and rose water. That sounds amazing. I could really get used to your you surprising me like this. So how do you like working in the bakery? It's fine, I guess. I feel pretty exhausted for. The bakery is so busy. It's hard to keep up with all of those orders. Uh, all of the orders. Does Aya work hard? Honestly, I don't think I ever seen her work. She's always in the back flirting with all of the guys. The other girls really hate her guts. Really? I thought that she was dating the manager. She's dating Torimoto? I didn't know that. No wonder she hasn't gotten fired. That's what I told her. What do you think about your boss? He's nice, I guess. I don't really see him that often. He spends most of his time in his office. So we pretty much just run the place ourselves. What about you? How is everything? About the same. I tried calling a new therapist this morning, but the administrative assistant said they wouldn't make a house call. You mean the doctor wouldn't call your house? Oh god, not you too. Yeah, something like that. Gosh, that's too bad. Well, keep looking around. Uh, keep looking around. I'm sure that somebody could probably call your house at the very, the very last least. I need to get going. I hope you. I hope you like the margaritas. Thank you. They were delicious. Hmm. <laughs> Kento. Hello. Good morning, my name is Dr. Hamasaki. My assistant received a call from this number yesterday. Was it you? Yeah, actually it was. My name is Kimiko Yu. I have agoraphobia and I'm unable to leave my house for an appointment. So I just gave up on the secret set that you didn't accept house calls. House calls are not routine, so I think my assistant was somewhat confused by the question. If you are unable to make it to my office, I can come to you if you are in the major Saitama area. I live in Saitama again. There's no reason I couldn't come and see you there. Would you mind filling out the registration form on our website? That seems easy enough. I think I have the address on your mailer. I'm sorry, but we don't have any mailers. 
Really? I got your information from a brochure slipped under my door. Someone must have retreated from my office and left it for you. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess I'll be making my my appointment online. I look forward to seeing you. Sorry about the confusion. Oh, I wonder who put the mail on the main door. I should make the appointment. If the psychologist before I forget. Wow. Well, it looks like she's open tomorrow. Booking now! Did I leave clothes in the washing machine? Again? The oh god, I don't remember. I don't think I did. Ah, I better go check. I hate when I forget to put the clothes in the dryer. They always make like puke when I forget. Ah, why can't I just leave the mail under my door? Maybe there is a lot to daddy. Hello! Who are you? Good morning, you must be Kimiko. Come in! I'm sorry, who are you? I'm Dr. Hamasaki. We have an appointment this morning. Oh my gosh! Is it am already? I'm sorry, I just woke up. I don't know what I'm thinking about making a morning appointment. Please come in! You, you really have a really lovely home. It's spotless. You are really lovely. It's actually my parents. They let me live here for free, so I don't have to pay anything. It's pretty easy to keep clean since I don't have anything else to do and it's just me here. I see. Well, we should get started. Can you start by telling me about why you made the appointment? Well, I have a really big problem because I'm not able to leave the house. What is it about leaving the powders here exactly? I'm not completely sure. I guess a lot of it is because I don't want to... I want to... I don't want to. The thought of leaving the house makes my heart race. Sometimes I feel dizzy and lightheaded. If I take one foot out the door, I usually go into the full-blown panic. I usually black out within seconds. When did you first start having these problems? It started out slowly. I used to have anxiety about going to work, but didn't think it was this serious. After I received my legal settlement, I had no reason to believe. I left the house, less and less, and each time I went out, the disease became, became worse and worse. Eventually, I was unable to leave the house at all. I see. Do you remember what was it your about your job that made you anxious? Well, I just didn't like it. Also, my boss was a complete pig. Really? How so? Well, he never really assaulted me. One time I was in the way and he patted my butt to get me the move. To move. I slapped him across the face and told him never to do it again. He was really surprised and he never did it again after that. However, he still went after the less assertive woman in the office. Instead, it almost made me just as mad. When he touched my rear, it was really nothing. It was a wasn't a pinch, a slap, a cupping or a grab. It really was just a light pat on my room. Do you think this was this why you started having your problems? Well, actually, yeah, maybe. That's funny, it got really bad. But actually, I never liked leaving the house. Tell me about, about your earliest memory of not wanting to leave the house. When I turned 10, I realized that my mother wasn't normal. When she asked me to go somewhere, I didn't really want to because I was afraid she would embarrass me in front of other people. She used to tell people that I was shy, but I wasn't shy. I was just afraid that she would do something to humiliate me. How is your relationship with your mother now? It's pretty much not an exist non-existent. My parents are always out of the country. Traveling around is something that I always wanted to do. I see. Has anything else happened recently? No, uh, not that I can think of. I'm surprised that you didn't mention what happened in the doorway earlier this week. In the doorway? Do you know about the guy that tried to break into my house? How could you possibly know about that? I'm afraid that I'm not at liberty to say as it is confidential. The reason I ask because it's an important recent event that could prevent you from making your progress if you choose not to recognize it as one. The fact that you didn't mention it makes me think that you have a tendency to bury problems as opposed to dealing with them. This is a defense behind you that sometimes has its limits. Well, what else do you know about me? Do you know how your brochure got under my front door? For all I know, you could have put it 
they're being opportunistic. Miss Yui, I can assure that your death is not all of the case. Ernie, really sorry. I must have pushed you too hard on your first visit, so I think we'll call it early today. Well, you should be more forthcoming about what you know about me. What exactly is going on here? I'm starting to think that you really don't make house calls. Why are you making an exception for me? I think you have pushed things too far, and I feel uncomfortable, so we'll save those questions for a later day. When you're ready, feel free to make another, make another appointment online. It was lovely meeting you. And also, please, know that I'm always available in case of emergencies. What the hell? I smell rat. I'm calling Raya, calling Raya I, right now. Hey! Did you sleep at Ravi's brochure under my door? Call her and ask her to make a house call a special request? Whoa! What are you talking about? I met with my therapist today, but somehow she already knows everything about me and refused to tell me why. What do you mean everything? Well, she knew about that guy that tried to, to break into my house. Hmm. I wonder if she's the same therapist as Ken does. Oh, that could make sense. He probably told her about what happened and that's how she knew. He probably left the brochure under your door as a referral or something. I guess that makes sense. So, when you see him, don't go all crazy mad and woman on him. He's just trying to help you because he's a nice guy. Getcha. Sorry for interrupting you. I'll let you get back to work. Thanks. There's actually a ton of stuff I have to do. Oh, a really cute guy just walked in. I'm going to go to talk to him. You just said that you have a lot to do. And you don't have a boyfriend already. <laughs> ah, I can't believe that she's like that. Hopeless. I wonder if Kento will stop by later. I'm kind of irritated with him. He should have told me that he was feeding information about me to his therapist. I don't like strangers knowing him. <laughs> Well, just great fucking notification. Bro, the voice uh, recording, which is not good. The editing will be harder, but well, let's continue the game. I wonder if Kendall will stop by later. I'm kind of irritated with him. He really should have told me that he was feeling information about me to his therapist. I don't like strangers knowing information about me that I don't know. He also should have told me what the brochure was all about. I guess he's not showing up tonight. It's probably better off that way. I wonder if what Dr. Hamasaki said was true. Am I really blogging out the things that happened to me? When she asked me about what happened in the doorway, I didn't even think about that creep. Did something really terrible happen to me in my past? Yeah, it's probably I a few hours late for work as usual. Good morning. Hey, how are you? Fine, are you okay? You don't look very happy to see me. Do you refer your therapist to me as a patient? Whoa! I have no idea what you're talking about. I found a psychiatric brochure under my door and I assumed it came from you. I made an appointment when the therapist came to my door, she knew a lot of information about me. I have no idea. My therapist right now is a gay man. I think he's actually kind of into me. So I've been thinking about switching. Maybe you can refer me to yours. I really don't think that's a good idea. I mean, there's something weird about this whole thing. I'm going to have to call her and ask her what's going on. Well, let me know when you do. I'm really curious anyway. I thought that we could spend the day together. Really? How are we going to do that? Well, I just took the medicine, so maybe I could try and come into your house. Are you joking? That seems really brave and sort of risky. Are you sure? I'm actually feeling nauseous already. Maybe I should wait for a few minutes. Okay, should I get you some water? Oh, uh, thanks. Maybe I just need a, few, need a few minutes. Anything else going on? Well, I think I met a little progress in therapy. Oh yeah, how so? Well, it looks like I may be repairing things that bother me. When the therapist asked me if anything traumatic happened recently, I didn't even think of the break-in. 
Yeah, that sounds like oppression. Do you really think that could be the source of your problems? It could be. More likely, I think that it's a combination of many things. I think I have the same problem. I went under hypnosis recently and remembered something really disturbing about my past. Really? Yeah, when I was a kid my mom used to bring in stray animals. They were dirty and she wouldn't give them the baths. Sometimes they would throw up and she wouldn't clean it up right away. It makes me feel sick even now. Even now. Maybe, maybe we should talk about something else. I'm fine, thanks for caring. I think I'm ready to try and come in. Really? Maybe you can start by taking one phone inside. Okay, look! I did it. You're doing great, now you can try the other. Okay, just give me a second. Look, you're already doing it. I'm so proud of you. This is so exciting. Are you ready to try another? I think so. I take a step back and the floorboard creaks. What was that? Is there another guy in here? No, the floor just creaked because I took a step back. Kento falls to the floor. Kento! Kento! Gosh, he blacks out even faster than me. Oh my god, he won't wake up. I can't get him to the hospital. I have to call an ambulance. 